Hello everyone. We have rearranged the studio somewhat in order that we will have more clear space for the workshops. And so all the for sale items we're bringing to the front. So we have our different yarns, our wool yarns of all sorts. We have our some of the little felted items like the soaps, the crocheted animals. Look, aren't they cute? And then we have my loom up the front. Over this way, we just have on display this beautiful spinning wheelchair. Then we have our hats, Donegal wool hats, uh, felted and uh, crocheted, I believe it is, slippers. And we have our health felted bags and then Nunyo felt scarves, different things like this. And then we have this lovely section here where we have different types of Irish wool. And then this one is alpaca for you to feel. And like, for example, this one is from Lakavala, which is an organic farm in the Burren. And this is from Jane. That's the sheep's name. I got that in 2018. She was sheared. So that's kind of fun. And we have our different um, felted and needle felted and knitted lovely cows like the one I have. And then we go into our little area here and we have Megan's beautiful needed felt needle felted animals and don't forget she is doing a workshop for beginners or anyone but you'll learn to needle needle felt on saturday the first of june at 65 euros from 11 to 4 and we have alpaca manure even look at that that's a little thing there that goes into your watering can natural fertilizer and we have this vartables ireland selection of um photos and cards back to the source the hand dyed hand spun natural plant dyed um irish wool from counties clare and galway and oh yeah so so these are now back to the source and sabine's little wrist warmers and i have bought one because i get sore in wrists so i've bought one it's actually not showing up really well i bought one a plain one and i've ordered her to, I asked her to make me one in black and this is alpaca so it's really soft so because of my fibro sometimes I feel you know that things are itchy or tight when they're actually not but it just feels that way so the alpaca is perfect and it keeps my wrist warm so it doesn't hurt so much and then she has made other things you know little hats and hair bands and the lovely little scarf and then we have more of Iga's lovely cows and wraps they're so amazing and then we have of course more of Susanna's Vartables Ireland we have one of the travel blankets and we have the cat blanket and some more photos and then on this side we have a lot of our wool roving and alpaca roving and these are all the naturally dyed ones and then we have Grace's ones that she's got individual uh, died you know hand died by herself and um yeah so let me just show you the back now this isn't quite done so obviously those are the bigs looms sandra's loom and megan's loom megan um o'malley's loom and in the back so we, we have two tables that's just one at the minute and you can see the back wall is bare so we're going to hang some tapestries or something maybe shawls that sandra's made and we have a few of the things that uh, we've woven here, but they are for sale, but generally the for sale things are up the front. So what I'm trying to say in the back before we had more items for sale, if you remember that. So it made it a little, a little awkward when we were having classes because classes, I'm saying classes, they're workshops and they were just a lot bigger than they, we thought they would be. So we often need this table and a second table depending on what the class is. So it made it hard for customers to come to the back. So now everything is up the front. So there's not really any competition for space between the classes. And um, I have to stop saying classes. Anyway, so there we are. And I'll just show you Dolly and Molly up front. I'll show you the front. Some of you may not have seen the front. There's Molly. And that's Dolly. And here's the front. 
so when you come down the main road you'll see us for sure and Dolly and Molly were made by uh, Megan Gilchrist fur and feather felt it's her husband he makes those and he makes all kinds of wonderful animals like that so that's cool <laughs>